today we are going to discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of triples and indirect triples so in the last class we have already discussed how uh, we can construct a quadruple and a triple and uh, indirect triple for a three address code or for an intermediate code right now let us see uh, the advantages and disadvantages so consider the uh, expression given so this is your intermediate code that is x is equal to some y plus z minus a by b. So we know that the uh, if you are having brackets, so brackets is having higher precedence, right? So we have uh, some y plus z within the brackets and a by b also written within the brackets. So from left to right, we will start the execution or we will start writing the three address code, okay? So uh, since we are going to construct a triple, you know that we have only three fields, one for storing the operator. So the record for triple contains one for storing the operator, second one for uh, operand 1 and third one for operand 2, right? So, let us write the triple for this. Now, um, first we have to uh, write the uh, three address code for y plus z, right? So, your first operator is plus and your argument 1 is y and argument 2 is z, right? And here, we does not have a temporary variable as in that of a quadruple. Instead, what we use? We use the address of the triple or the uh, we use some positions to represent the uh, value come result, okay? Rather than using a temporary variable, we use the position or the address or the pointer to this triple, okay? Suppose we are starting from 0, so this uh, 0 means it is a pointer to this triple, y plus z and the result will be available at this memory location, right? So, next we have a by b within the bracket. So, next we have to come, uh, write the three address code for that. So, you have the operator is division. Again, your argument 1 is a and your argument 1 is b. Again, the result a by b will be stored in the position or the address 1. Okay. Next, what we have to do? We have to subtract, right? So, this is available in position 0 and this is available result of the a by b is available in position 1. So, what we have to do? We have to do 0 minus 1, right? The operator is 0 and we have to perform 0 minus 1. So, your operand 1 is address 0 and your operand 2 is address 1. Now, the result will be stored in the position 2. Now, what we have to do? We have to assign the value computed in the RHS to the variable x. So, we are going to assign it. So, how you get the uh, operator is assignment operator and while writing the triples, argument 1 must be the variable that you are going to assign some value. So, x and here we are going to assign x with what the result is available in 2, right? So, this is how you write the triple, okay? So, we have already discussed how to write the triples. Now, uh, the advantages of triple is that uh, it does not uh, use any temporary variables, right? Why? Because we does not have a field for uh, temporary variables. So, therefore, no temporary variables are generated and since no temporary variables are generated, it will require less memory when compared to quadruple. So, these are the advantages of um, what triples. Now, let us see its disadvantage. So, what is the disadvantage? So, suppose uh, the first disadvantage is that after the um, code, intermediate code generation, the next phase of the compiler is code optimization, right? So, code optimization means what? We are going to optimize the code in some way, either in terms of memory or in terms of time, right? That is, um, either the optimizer will be using some optimizing algorithms, it will try to reduce the usage of memory or use, uh, I mean, generating the temporary variables, it may, it might reduce, okay? So, either in terms of memory, it will reduce uh, space or uh, in terms of time. In terms of time means it will... Uh, what it will um, arrange the code in such a way that it will take less time to compile, okay? Suppose uh, to compile a 10 statements, it is requiring some 5 minutes means after optimize, optimization, it might take only 2 minutes, okay? So, uh, reducing the memory or uh, in reducing the time required to compile uh, the code, uh, the optimizer may optimize it, okay? Now, uh, while optimizing, what it does is, it might change the execution order of statements, okay? Suppose, uh, it might change the first statement to the fifth statement or the fourth statement might be changed to second statement. So, the position of statements may be changed, okay? May be changed, right? 
always it is not necessary so it may change so whenever it is changing the position the uh, uh, triples faces a disadvantage why because it faces a, a disadvantage is known as code immovability during optimization code immovability i'll explain it with an example consider the same example okay suppose uh, the optimizer is choosing uh, when it uh, used some algorithm it found that if the computation of a by b is done uh, first uh, then uh, the time required may be less suppose you assume that suppose the optimizer uh, is going to optimize in such a way that it is going to uh, first compute a by b and then compute y plus z okay so first the optimizer is going to compute a by b so its result will be stored in position 0 next is position 1 position 2 and position 3 right after that it might um, i mean it might um, uh, give the three address it is going to arrange the three address code for y plus z okay y and z now uh, so uh, it first it uh, plays this statement so it rearranged the triple okay the optimizer rearranged the triple in such a way that first it is going to place the uh, a by b first and then y plus z the rest in the same order it is going to list. So minus 0 and 1 and equal to x and 2. So what I did is uh, the optimizer just uh, changed the position of these two statements. Okay. Because it found that if change, uh, if it is changing or if it is computing a by b first then uh, the mem time or memory might be reduced. Anything. So, so uh, the rest uh, there is no change for well, the statements uh, in the position 2 and position 3. Now let us look what is the result obtained. We have to obtain the result y plus z minus a by b, right? Now, here what is we are obtaining? 0 minus z means in position 0, now we are having the statement what a by b, right? a by b minus in position 1 we are having the statement y plus z. So what is the result now obtained? The result now obtained uh, that is being assigned to x is a by b minus y plus z. But what was the result actually x has to be assigned? It has to be assigned with the values y plus z minus a by b. But rather here it is assigning a by b minus y plus z. So the computation is wrong, right? So this is the disadvantages of triple immovability of statements or code during optimization. Why? Because the results are positional, right? Here we are not generating any temporary variables. We are using the result in position 0 minus result in position 1. So, whenever we are interchanging the results in this position, it might cause some, it might cause some problems. So, this is the disadvantages of triples. Now, in order to avoid this disadvantage, actually we are using next uh, data structure which is known as indirect triples. So, let us see how an indirect triple will represent the same. Okay. So, in indirect triple, what we have is, we have the triple and in addition to that what we have, we have an array which is known as the statement array and I mean instruction array and the instruction array uh, will uh, store the uh, what store the pointers to the triples in the desired order, right? On the desired order of execution. So we have an uh, array known as instruction and it will have, uh, uh, suppose it is starting from some 100 then 101, this is location 102, 103, 104, 105, etc. Okay, so it is the address is starting of this array starting from some 100. You assume that again. I am going to uh, write the order like this. So, the first we have to execute um, what uh, the triples in position 0, next 1, next 2, and next 3. Okay. So what happens is first it will compute y plus z, then a by b will be computed, then y plus z minus 1 will be computed, again that value will be given to x. Okay. And suppose the, mm, uh, the optimizer is going to, uh, after optimization, what we did is optimizer play is going to compute a by b first, right? So it is going to place a by b here. So the order now will be changed. First it has to execute A by B. So A by B is available in position 1. Then it will execute Y plus Z. Instead of changing the triple, we are just changing the order over here. Next it is going to execute 0. Next what it happens, it is going to execute 
zero minus one. Now we look zero minus one. So it is executing second uh, statements in second position. Again the statement in third position. So this is the order. Now if uh, uh, even if I am changing the order in this array, let, let us look whether the result is changing. Okay. So uh, here in this uh, second uh, one means it is computing what a by b is being computed. Position zero means you have y plus is computed next. In two we are having zero minus one. Now what is zero minus one? Zero means it is y plus is it? So y plus is it minus one means one means it is a by b right? So y plus is it minus a by b and three means we are assigning whatever is available result available in two to x. So x is actually equal to y plus is it minus a by b. So, which is the uh, given statement, which is the desired result, right? So, here even though we are changing the order of execution, it is not affecting the result. Why? Because we are not changing the triple, rather we are changing only the order. So, this is the usage of uh, indirect triples, okay? We are actually uh, giving the pointers to triples only. We are not changing the triples, rather the order of execution only we are giving here. So, it won't affect the uh, result. Right? So, this is the advantage and disadvantage of the triples and indirect triples.